here. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm thrilled to have you here with me today to discuss my top five beauty game changers. Yes, that's right. We're going to go into the top five ways that I use to kind of put the icing on the beauty cake as it were. But before we get into that, I did want to show you the outfit and the jewelry that I'm wearing today. I love this big bold watch with the CZ bezel. I'm always into bling. And this is my absolute favorite sweater on Amazon. I own it in seven or eight different colors. And in fact, I got my mother-in-law, she wanted a sweater and I got her to purchase the sweater and she absolutely loves it. There she is, she's 90 years old and she is rocking it. This sweater looks good on everyone and this particular sweater that I'm wearing is probably two years old. It's been in and out of the wash. Actually, I hang it dry, but it totally wears beautifully because it is a quality sweater. And if you're not yet a member of the 50 Plus Beauty family, I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel. It is totally free. And if you could click the little bell, you'll get an email notification of my future videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be greatly appreciated. Okay, let's get into this. The top five beauty game changers. And the first beauty game changer is having more beautiful hair. They always say that our hair is our crowning glory and I could not agree more. And one thing that has helped me totally improve my hair is this little guy. And this is the Zuvi hair dryer. And Zuvi is the sponsor of this video as well. And I can't say enough good things about this dryer. When they originally sent it to me, I thought, oh, I'll use it for a month and then I'll probably switch back to the other one I was using. But quite honestly, ever since they sent this to me and I've used it now over a year, maybe a year and a half, I have never looked back. I have totally used the Zuvi hair dryer because I think it has made a huge difference in the beauty, shininess, um, that kind of thing of my hair. My hair just looks better. Now, the neat thing about the Zuvi right now, if you're interested in purchasing this, well, first they have a 30 day money back guarantee, so there's no risk at all. But the neat thing is that this is, well, they consider this their Black Friday sale. It's from November 1st, kind of indefinitely through November, sometime in November, but it is definitely on right now. And this will be the lowest price of the year that you can get this wonderful Zuvi hair dryer. It's 25% off during their Black Friday sale. And then if you use my code, it is an extra 5% off. So you get 30% off. And my code is 50 plus beauty five, all spelled out 50 plus beauty five. And again, there is a 30 day money back guarantee. So there is no risk. And if you're like me, once you start using this, you will see the huge benefits and the improved way your hair looks, and you will never go back to a traditional blow dryer. Now, speaking of dryers, I just realized when I was doing the first part of the video that my washer was in there going crazy. I hope it wasn't too distracting for you, but I did shut it off. So let's get back into this video. Let me begin by showing you the listing for the Zuvi dryer on their website. It says Zuvi Halo Hair Dryer. And as you can see there, it won one of the time best inventions of the year for 2022. And it also won an Allure Best of Beauty Award for the same year. And there, as it is listed, it is $329. But again, if you use my discount code and their Black Friday sale together, you'll get 30% off the Zuvi, and that is definitely the lowest price of the year. And you may wonder, yes, it is a bit pricey, and why would I think that the high price is worth it? Well, number one, I totally think our hair is worth it. Keeping it nice and not dried out and not frizzy is a wonderful, wonderful thing. The shine that it gives you is just incredible. And you may wonder why it does that. And the answer is also on their website. It says the Zuvi dries with light for healthier and shinier hair. The Zuvi dries with light for healthier and shinier hair. And when you're using the Zuvi, and I think you can see me using it there, it's kind of interesting because there's a little bit of heat on the styling option, but on the other several options they have there, you see different colors of light that is actually drying your hair. And the reason that results in more beautiful shiny hair is because your hair is not subject to such intense heat. There you can see under the infrared lights, the Zuvi light care on one side, and you're not seeing any heat on that hair at all versus traditional hair dryers where you see intense amounts of heat going up to almost 150 degrees Fahrenheit. And as you can imagine, drying your hair with 150 degrees of heat 
is going to have a negative impact on your hair. In fact, looking back, I used a traditional hair dryer all those years, and I can't imagine the damage I did to my hair. And the reason the Zuvi engineers created the Zuvi hair dryer was because they wanted to create a scientifically proven way, a scientifically proven device to give you healthier, shinier, more beautiful hair. And if you go to their website, you can see the science behind each of these three things because it is amazing the lengths the Zuvi scientists went in formulating this particular type of blow dryer. But here are the scientific stats behind what it does for your hair. It increases the hair's moisture by more than 100%. It increases the shine of your hair by 38% and up to 17% smoother hair. And I personally have experienced all of those benefits. I have smoother hair, I have shinier hair, I have more moisture in my hair. My hair used to be frizzy and dry looking. And now, as you can see, it just looks nice and shiny and smooth. And it really does look more moisturized. And I have very overly processed blonde hair that used to look downright crunchy, I have to admit, frizzy and crunchy. And now it just looks like smoother, younger hair. That's why the Zuvi is my number one beauty game changer. They say our hair is our crowning glory. And with the Zuvi, I really feel like that's true. And again, it starts out a little pricey. If it's not on sale, it's $329. But by the time all is said and done after all the sales, I believe it's right around $234. Don't quote me on that and go and use my discount code and see what it ends up. But from $329 down to just over $200, I think that is a huge savings. And once you experience the Zuvi and its wonderful beauty hair benefits, I don't think you'll ever switch back. Okay, there's one other little detail under game changer number one, how to have beautiful hair. And that is that I think it's important to use a weekly hair mask. Actually, I use this one every two weeks. This is the It's a 10 Miracle Hair Mask. And I have probably purchased this three or four times. I've used this for over two years. And I really do think that it leads to shinier, healthy looking hair. But I have to say, I use this for about a year before the Zuvi and my hair has super improved since the Zuvi. This isn't enough to take you from dry frizzy hair like I used to have before to this, but it is an excellent hair mask and the best one I found. Okay, game changer number two is having a movie star smile. I thought that was a cute thing to name it, a movie star smile. And a lot of you will look at me in these videos and you've said it in the past in the comment section. You've said, you have veneers, don't you? And I'm like, no, I do not have veneers. These are totally my teeth. Although this one back, I've got a three tooth bridge and that had to do with a health issue. That was not, you know, that was not to make my teeth look white. And actually they had to make this three tooth bridge several times to get it as white as my teeth are. And the reason my teeth are so white is really something I've been doing for about the past two years. And I use and swear by this. And that is that I use some common household ingredients, baking soda and peroxide, hydrogen peroxide. This is just the 2% 99 cent hydrogen peroxide you get from Walmart. I use those two things. But first I use a really great toothpaste and I went to get a new tube out of my cabinet this morning to show in the video and I realized that I better get myself ordered on the new one pretty quick here because this one maybe has another two days worth of uses. But this is a fantastic whitening toothpaste. It is the best one I found so far. This is the Opalescence Whitening Toothpaste in the original Cool Mint flavor. It tastes very good. And from the minute I started to use this, I noticed that my teeth were getting whiter and brighter over time. It takes a little time, but I really do like this. But as I mentioned, to pump up the whitening even further, I use baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. Let me show you a little bit about how that works. Basically, I take my Sonicare toothbrush and put a little toothpaste on that. Then I dip the toothbrush into the baking soda and then I spray the whole thing with the hydrogen peroxide. And about a year and a half ago, I started doing this and I went into my hygienist and she said, Beth, what are you doing? Your teeth are so bright, they look fantastic. And I told her what I was doing with the baking soda and the hydrogen peroxide. And I said, is that okay? And she said, oh, absolutely. That's absolutely fine. Keep on doing it. Well, then I made a video about what I was doing and someone in the comments section said, Beth, aren't you afraid baking soda is so abrasive? So I got really afraid that I was really hurting my teeth. So for the rest of the four month period or so before I went into the dentist, I stopped using that. 
And then when I went into the hygienist, she said, Beth, your teeth don't look as white as they did and you've got a lot more tartar. What have you changed? And the only thing I had changed is that I was afraid of using the baking soda and the hydrogen peroxide. So I stopped that and I told her I wanted to speak with a dentist because I was afraid maybe this was too abrasive. And she said, Beth, you don't even need to talk to the dentist. And she pulled out a page, which I've since found on the internet, and she pulled out a page which ranks the abrasiveness of different toothpaste and things like that. And baking soda on a scale of one to 100 got like a five. It was very non-abrasive. And a lot of the toothpaste out there are much more abrasive than that. So she said, Beth, I would recommend that you go back to using the baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. And I did that. And the next time I went in for a cleaning, she said, Beth, your teeth are looking great again. Now, game changer number three is to have better looking skin. And that would be skin pretty much on your face, your neck, and your entire body. And a lot of this information you already have, but the first thing I use on my face is tretinoin. And I have been using the 0.05% strength, but I'm working up to the 1% strength. And a lot of people out there, including me recently, have been using the agency future formula, which includes the prescription strength tretinoin and also other prescription ingredients, which I really do think that they help my skin look its best. But the problem with using tretinoin is you can't really use it on your neck. At least I couldn't because it was very harsh on my neck. I couldn't tolerate it. It was very irritating. I would wake up with red inflamed wrinkles on my neck. It never did look better. And then I read some new research about this Differin gel. And this is a Dapoline, which used to be by prescription only, but now it is over the counter. And this little guy is maybe $15 and it lasts a couple of months, I would say. And I use the Differin gel on my neck because the studies are showing that it has the same anti-aging benefits as tretinoin without the harshness or the irritation. And I really do think that my neck, although it will always be probably a little bit crepey, I think it is getting firmer using this and I really do appreciate that. Now the third game changer involving better looking skin has to do with body skin. And I was a person who never liked to use body lotions. They just felt gooky and slimy and I just felt like they never dried down. I had it in the shower, but I would never ever use it. Well, then maybe a couple of months ago, it was in the middle of the summer and I was sleeveless as usual. And about two o'clock in the afternoon, I hadn't put any body lotion on, of course. I looked down at my arm and it looked like an old aging alligator. My skin looked so old, it, it looked like a very old person's arm. And that is something I'm really, wanting to kind of solve as I get older. And I don't know that I can do that, but if I could help all of us to have better body skin as we age and not have those big bruises and not have that super thin, bruise-worthy skin that just looks old and very dry, then that would be wonderful. And so after looking down at my arm, I thought, Beth, you have got to just do it. You've got to break down and make yourself start using body lotion every single day. And I have been doing that now for about the past two months. I made it a habit. And what I do is that in the shower, I towel off in the shower, and then I use this Alpha Skin Care Renewal Body Lotion 12% Glycolic Acid. I don't put it on my midsection, but I do put it all over my arms and all over my legs. And for the first week, I didn't like it. It still felt like it was greasy and grimy and gross. But by the second week, I started to think maybe I was liking it. And by the third week, I was really hooked because it was so wonderful to look down during the day, like at my arm and see a nice normal looking arm, not Methuselah arm, if you know what I mean. And it's very reasonable in price and the 12% glycolic acid in it, it does not hurt you, it does not burn you, but basically what it does is that it sloughs off those old skin cells so it keeps your skin turning over as it did when we were younger because our skin cells turn over a lot faster when we we're younger. And to me, this body lotion is helping my skin do the same thing. And it's really helping it look a lot younger and a lot dewier and a lot better. Now, the fourth beauty game changer has to do with one's hands because they always say that your hands don't lie about your age. And I think that's certainly true. Well, one thing I do is something you probably do. And let me see if I can find it here, sunblock. When I am going out for the day, I put sunblock all over my face, of course, but I also put a little bit of sunblock on the backs of each hands. I just put one little glob here and, you know, rub them together. And so sunblock on your hands. Don't forget that. It is very important. And another thing that is super important 
is using car driving gloves. And these are just little cotton Amazon gloves. They may be two or three dollars. They're like nothing. And I cut the fingers out of them because when I'm using the steering wheel, I really like to have my fingers touching the steering wheel. I have these stuffed down into my center console and I would always forget to use them. And so then I realized that even though I like my car to look neat, I care about my hands more. So what I did is that I took the little gloves and I rolled them up in a little ball to try to make them look a little neater. And then I have two car cup holders between the passenger and the driver's seat. And I just put them down right in one of the car cup holders. Now, whenever I get into the car, I see them immediately and I put them on. But I think little by little, I'm starting to see an improvement in my hands and I'm excited to use these gloves going forward. Okay, game changer number five is something that if you followed my channel, you'll be very surprised about. For those of you who have followed my channel, you know that for about the past year, I have been carnivore, which is basically I only eat animal products. Lots of butter, lots of steaks, lots of hamburger, no vegetables and fruits of any kind. Well, beauty game changer number five is actually a healthy game changer for me as well. And that is that since I had my stroke, which I did have a stroke about two months ago, and thank the Lord, literally, I was able to identify that I was having a stroke very quickly. I got right to the hospital because if you get to the hospital within three hours of having a stroke, they can often give you a clot busting drug that will totally reverse your stroke's symptoms. And that's what happened for me, which is just great. And I'm going to link the video below because I hope you'll see it because in it, it gives you the early warning signs to realize if you or a loved one are having a stroke and to get to the hospital soon so you can get taken care of. That's very, very important. But since the stroke, initially I found some research online. I found a, a cardiologist online who believes in the carnivore diet. And so I was going to stay on the carnivore diet, but the more and more research I did, the more I realized that 25% of people that have one stroke, in 25% of the cases, they will have a second stroke within one year. And so I realized that it is super important for me to really stop listening to the social media fads. There is really no long-term research on the effects of the carnivore diet. There just isn't any of that. I instead turn to real scientific research about what keeps you healthy and stroke-free after having had a stroke. And one of the things was to make sure that you had a diet rich in fruits and vegetables and whole foods and not processed foods. And basically at lunch, I'm eating a lot of salads. We're eating a lot more meatless meals. We're not eating much processed food at all. I'm eating a lot of fruits and vegetables and even some healthy grains. And also another thing that is protective against having a second stroke is actually to get exercise, both weight training and also cardio. And as those of you who have followed my channel, you know that five mornings a week, I'm down in the basement doing my weight training. So I really dived into the research and found that yes, weight training is very protective against strokes, but so is cardio. And I never did much cardio at all. And it doesn't take a lot of cardio. In fact, to be protective against strokes, they said all you really need is 10 minutes of intense cardio about four days a week. And since I weight train Monday through Friday, I've just added 10 minutes on the elliptical or the rowing machine or some other cardio machine that I have down there. 10 minutes of that before I start my weight workout. And I'm feeling very good and I'm also feeling very protected. And I have to say that we can abuse our bodies, we can eat improper things, we can do a lot of things to ourselves in our 30s and 40s, but the harmful effects of that don't show up until our later years. Well, I am in my later years and let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see a video about exactly the things I'm doing to prevent a stroke from happening again. And I firmly believe that the general healthy lifestyle that I'm adopting can be helpful to a lot of other different people, possibly suffering from other things as well. Well, thanks for watching my beauty game changers and special thanks go out to the Zuvi people for sponsoring this video. And also, if you use my discount code, remember you'll get the benefit of the lowest price this year on this, 30% off on this little device. And I personally think it is well worth it. Well, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I'm going to try to make this one really quick. And basically it has to do with safe driving and being safe in the car for yourself and for other people. And I'm going to be very open with you here. And that is that 
Up until about a month ago, it was a month ago when I finally made this change and it was about time. Basically, I used to think that when I was driving my car, it was a good time to multitask. I could listen to a YouTube video. I could maybe look at the occasional email. And once in a while, I have to admit, I would even text. And please don't send me hate in the comments section because I know a lot of people do that and it was wrong. And looking back, I endangered myself and others when I did that. Well, my husband has been concerned about my idea of multitasking in the car and we were visiting with his friend Stan and he was telling a story about his girlfriend and how he worried that because she was such a multitasker in the car, she didn't take driving seriously. He was worried that she would have an accident in the future. And Stan really has a lot of good common sense and he said what she doesn't get is the most dangerous thing she does every day is when she gets behind the wheel. He says she's operating a two or 3,000, I can't remember how many pounds it was, car, and that when you're behind the wheel, that is the only thing you should concentrate on. You should not think of that as a time to multitask. You have to really keep your mind on the road, other drivers, and the job at hand. And for some reason, thank you, Stan, that totally changed my evil ways, as I like to call them. And from that moment on, I declared the front seat of the car a no phone zone, no phone zone. The only way in which I do use my phone is if I have an audiobook that I start at home in the garage before I leave, I can listen to the audiobook because that's kind of like a radio. But other than that, I do not use my phone at all in the front seat of the car. Not only when I'm driving, but also when I'm a passenger because just after I started the no phone zone, at first I thought it was just for when I was driving and then I was in the car and Alan was driving and I started answering comments in the comment section and he said, Beth, this needs to be a no phone zone because whenever you're a passenger in the car, it's like you're not even here. He said, please don't use the cell phone in the car because that makes me feel not so good. And I totally got what he was saying and I realized that was true. And so I made the entire front seat a no phone zone. Now in the back seat, all bets are off. If I'm a passenger in the back seat of the car, I can do whatever I want on the cell phone. So friends, just for today, hopefully you always really attend to your driving and make that job one. But if you don't, I hope you'll remember the things that I said and consider it, mull it over, because maybe it would help you and those around you to make your front seat of the car a no phone zone. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.